glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Hard-nosed running game. The power, the counter trade, the ISO. If that's what you love, much as I hate to say it, you'd probably better turn the channel. Two high-powered passing attacks. Two teams that love to push the ball down the field, getting set to try to light up the scoreboard. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Stadium, located in the heart of Silicon Valley in San Jose, California. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Johnson Bennett is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 49. The seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career. And for these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Looking for his man, incomplete. San Jose State's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Second and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's at the 40. He gets to about the 34-yard line. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. Taken down around the 26 yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 26. Takes the ball right. The ball pops free. Defense says they've got it, and they do. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 23-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 23. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Johnson makes the tackle at the 27 yard line. Third down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Watch 
Barnes, the ball carrier. They'll bring him down at the 38. taken down around the 47 yard line i think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way but the defense didn't expect it sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking first and 10 ball on their own 47 straight run here and he's got nowhere to go the defensive end came through to put him away nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle and he stopped right away. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Complete. He's got room. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. You don't expect tight ends to run away from many defenders, but he looked pretty nimble getting downfield there. This is the ninth play of this drive. Man left, man left. Good outside run there. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Scrambling around. This is the 11th play of this drive. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes, right around the 20. Call it a gain of 11 yards. First down. From the 20-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled at the six. That makes it first and goal. Play 13 of the current drive. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. We played one quarter. Now this one's scoreless. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seventh. Idaho could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Bennett is 
lined up to kick this one off. Mac takes it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tries to get around the corner. Gets to around the 42. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From their own 42-yard line, first down. They'll give it off here. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at about the 47-yard line. From the 47 yard line. First down. And he's tackled at the 37. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. It's second and ten. Ball on the 37. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 15. play there and now they're looking at first and goal here's the eighth play of the series dives forward a yard maybe two on the carry we've got second and goal ball on the one they're crowding that line of scrimmage. Again, he'll get the call. Tackle made around the one-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That was a great tackle. The defender seemingly came out of nowhere and put a big hit on the ball carrier. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Spartans. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 70-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now... 7-3. San Jose State to kick. Low from the six. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle. That's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. 
He's knocked out of bounds at the 36. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. And he dives forward. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Watch two, watch two, watch 36, 36 to go. He's scrambling. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. Miller gets three yards on that scramble. The Vandals will use their first time out of the half. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 47-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. He's at the 30, brought down right around the 26-yard line. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. Four yards away here on second down. Play action. It's a fumble. Looks like the offense has it. They'll bring him down at the 14-yard line. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. He's scrambling, and he's taken down at the 13-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's level at the 16. They come out in a five-wide set. End zone. Looks to the end zone and it's caught. Touchdown. He's a nightmare to try and cover, and he showed you why right there. His speed just melts coverage schemes. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 68-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Fielded at the nine. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 37-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Yeah. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. The Spartans taking their first time out of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Going long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That makes it second and ten. Throws it deep. And he's hit immediately. A great first half comes to a close. Idaho's got a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. 
Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast paced, up tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 30 yard line. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch. Going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Idaho has a three-point lead. Got a man. Watch out here. And they make the stop around the 36-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Watch 19. Watch 19. Throws it in a hurry. It's all about chipping away at the defense. Even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. And down he goes around the 43-yard line. First down. It's first and ten. Left, left. Ball on the 43-yard line. Two down, two down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. And he's stopped behind the line. is up by three. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Brought down in the open field. That's a that makes it first and ten. ten. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Makes it to the 22-yard line. That's a gain of two on the That makes it second and eight. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's on the run. There he goes. He's tackled right around the 16-yard line. Gain of six yards. 
That'll bring up third and two. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. What a play, and that is first and goal. Gaining 13 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Idaho is up a field goal. Scrambling around. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Boy, this quarterback has great instincts, but he showed his smarts here as well seeing that there was room to run for the touchdown instead of trying to force the pass. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 71-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Mack takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll get him for a loss. Loss of one there for the halfback. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 48. Super effort by the tailbacks to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions and especially when the defense starts to get pressure you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it here's a screen pass gets it to the back knocked out of bounds at the 47 third down now and they need to get it down to the 38. Here's the halfback on the screen, and he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 17-7, Idaho. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Good tackle.
Ryan awaits the snap. What a collision. Yeah, nothing too impressive on that return. I'm curious to see if this offense can move the ball. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Around the 33 yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 33 yard line, it's second down. Tackle right around the 42 yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That makes it third and three. Just under three to go in regulation. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's taken down at about the 49. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Here's the eighth play of the series. Caught, open field. They'll bring him down at the 28. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's hit and taken down. Just under two to go in the game. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. It's the 11th play of the drive. Fires across the middle. And he's taken down at the 15-yard line. Looks to his back, and he's got him again. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Two-score game, and they can cut that down here if they can get this one in the end zone. hit before it could go anywhere. Stevens picks up six yards with that grab. San Jose State will take their first time out of the half. Here's play number 14 of this drive. End zone touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. 
trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he adds the extra point. It was a 14-play, 65-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. Illegal, Illegal touching. touching. Offense. Offense. Still, Still first, first down. down. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. Under a minute left in the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Barnes picks up about four yards on the play. San Jose State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second down and six. Ball on their own 40. the middle for a nice game. Barnes gains about four yards on the play. San Jose State's called their final timeout. And he's tackled at for positive yardage. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. From midfield. First down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. The Vandals, coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.